Get down when the blood of Jesus and the Jesus and the without some Holy Spirit sounds everlastingly. Sounds infinity, ain't it? The valley of the vision, the oracle concerning the valley of the vision. What is the matter with you now that you have all gone up to the housetops? You who were full of noise, was your town, you exultant city. You're slain, we're not slain with a sword, nor did they die in battle. All your rulers have fled together and have been captured without the bow. All of you who were found were taken captive together, though they have fled far away. Therefore I say, turn your eyes away from me, let me weep bitterly, do not try to come for me, concerning the, the destruction of the daughter of my people. For the Lord God of hosts, as a day of panic, subjugation, and confusion in the valley of vision, they break it down the walls, and they crying to the mountain. Elam took up the quiver with the chariots of the tree, and horsemen, and Kurt uncovered the shield. Then you towards your valleys, were full of chariots, and the horsemen took up fixed positions at the gate. And he removed the defense of Judea. In that day, you depended on the weapons of the house of the forest. And you saw that the, the, the breaches in the wall of the city of David were many. And you collected the waters of the lower pool. Then you counted the houses of Jerusalem and tore down the houses to fortify the wall. And you made a reservoir between the two walls for the waters of the old pool. But you did not depend on him who made it, nor did you take in consideration. Him who planned it long ago. Therefore, in that day, the Lord God of hosts caused you to weep and to wear him, to shave in the head and wear him, and to wear him sackcloth. Instead, there is G A I E T Y and gladness, killing of cattle and slaughtering of sheep, eating of meat and drinking of wine. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we may die. But the Lord of hosts revealed himself to me. Surely the sin of pity shall not be forgiven you until you die, says the Lord God of hosts. Thus saith the Lord God of hosts, come, go to this, to this steward, to Shebna, who is in charge of the royal household. What right do you have here, and whom do you have here, that you have hewn a tomb for yourself here? You who hew a tomb on the height, you who carve a resting place for yourself in the rock. Behold, the Lord is about to hurl you head on, O man, and he who is about to grasp you from me, and roll you tightly like a ball, to be cast into the vast country. There you would die. There your splendid chariots will be. You shame of your master's house. I will expose you from your office, and I will pull you down from your station. Then it will come about in that day that I will summon my servant Elijah, the son of Hilkiah, and I will clothe him with your tunic and tie your sash securely about him. I will entrust him with your authority, and he will become a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judea. Then I will set the key of the house of David on his shoulder. When he opens, no one will shut. When he shuts, no one will open. I will drive him like a peg in a firm place, and he will become a throne of glory to his father's house. So there will hang on him all the glory of his father's house on spring, and issue all the least of vessels from bowls to all the jars. And that day declares the Lord of hosts, the head driven in the firm place will give way. It will even break off and fall, and the load hanging on it will be cut off. For the Lord has spoken, Isaiah 22, peace.